What is calibration? In measurement technology calibration is the process of checking the instrument with a standard instrument to improve the measuring functions. The accuracy of standard device taken for calibration should be 10 times the accuracy of measuring device. What is control valve? Control valve is used to monitor the flow of fluid by changing the flow passage by the control signal. Pressure, temperature and liquid level are the important process quantities in control system. Control valve allows the direct control of flow rate of these process quantities. The most important final control element in a closed loop system is control valve. There are different types of control valves used. The two basic types are rotary and linear, sliding stem motion, valves. Based on the type of control valve used, calibration is done. Manual calibration and auto calibration are the two common types of control valve calibration. Control valve as an actuator in a control loop operation has an How important to do role control in the whole valve process. calibration. Share your experience with us on the calibration of control valves, use the comments section, like and subscribe this channel after watching this video. Control valves are meant to control the process parameters namely pressure, flow, level, and temperature. Control valve is the final control element in any closed loop control. Based on their application type, they are named as pressure control valve, level control valve, and temperature control valve. Calibration is the quantitative determination of errors of a measuring device and, where necessary, adjusting these errors to a minimum. The error is comparison with higher standard having traceability to national or international standards. In today's video we are discussing the steps to calibrate the control valve. So when you receive the work request for calibration of control valve, the instrument engineer will submit safety document request one day in advance for the work planned. Confirm isolation before receiving the safety document through SAP or manual. 1. Check the interlock in the relevant logic diagram for the valve to be stroked. Simulate or force the necessary signal like valve position etc. to ensure safe operation of the process before starting the job. 2. Check the healthiness of IP converter, position feedback transmitter, airlock relay, solenoid valve, and air supply pressure. 3. Check the manual operation of the valve using the hand wheel. Stroke the valve either from local or from DCS as applicable. Confirm the valve travel from a local. Calibrate the valve with the inbuilt option like auto calibration available in the valve positioner. Also, Check the limit switches function and adjust them as required. For the smart control valve, we can use a HART communicator to calibrate the control valve. Give the supply pressure according to the valve as per nameplate details. Connect the HART to the valve positioner. Then go to valve simulate command, enter 0% and observe the valve position. Next, enter 25% in HART and observe the valve travel position. Similarly, enter 50%, 75% and 100% in the HART communicator then observe the valve stem travel position accordingly. You can find a manual scale, 0% to 100%, with a needle on the valve to verify the valve travel position. Confirm the signal status and remove all the simulation or forces, which were done before starting the job. Clear and return the work permit to the plant shift manager or responsible engineer. Update the work order in records. Share your experience with us on the calibration of control valves, use the comments section, like and subscribe this channel and stay connected with us for more informative videos. Thank you and good luck.